Hi, my name is Steve Waldman. I'm a senior advisor to the chairman at the FCC. I wanted to tell you about a new project at the FCC about the future of media and the information needs of communities. As you know, the media landscape is changing rapidly. We're really at a critical juncture in communications history. Why? Well, two major things are going on simultaneously. On the one hand, we're seeing tremendous innovation, really exciting changes in the media world. Primarily due to the internet, consumers are exposed to more voices and viewpoints than ever before, and they have more ways to connect with each other and make their voices heard. On the other hand, traditional media business models are struggling or collapsing. Newspapers and TV stations have been laying off thousands of professional journalists. This has raised strong bipartisan concerns about whether our media will remain strong and independent enough to protect consumers and hold leaders accountable. That's potentially a huge problem for our democracy. That's why FCC Chairman Julius Janikowski decided to launch a major new agency-wide project to make sure that citizens and communities end up with vibrant, diverse sources of news and information. Information that enables them to enrich their lives, their communities, and their democracy. Now, these have always been key goals for the FCC and for America's communications policy. But we must make sure that these historic goals are met in this new digital era. By the way, in a digital era, when we talk about news and information, we're not only referring to journalism. It's also about making sure consumers get the information they need from government and other sources about schools, crime, public health, natural disasters, or other issues that affect them dearly. The starting point for this effort, of course, is the First Amendment, a free press independent of government control is a foundational principle of our democracy. Anytime the government even looks at the media, we have to be very careful. Keeping that principle in mind always, the experts here working on these issues will work first to gain a detailed, fact-based understanding of what's happening in the media world. Then we will make recommendations, including possibly suggestions for government policy changes. But we really need your help. You and your families have a very direct stake in this. We truly hope you will come to this arena and add your comments about the information needs of your community and how the media can meet those needs. Thank you very much.